but starting off small is one of the best and most effective ways that you can write your book, but also to continue to, to maintain inspiration and motivation. Because when you sit down and you write a book and you're thinking about, you know, 150 pages or 200 pages or 300 pages, whatever the case may be, that is overwhelming. Because even if you write for an hour, you might only have 10 to 15 pages. And when you think about how many pages you have to go, that can be discouraging to the point where you might just give up and say, you know what, this isn't for me which has been the experience of so many people because they get overwhelmed and because they make this big process bigger than what it really has to be instead of attacking it with small sections that they can achieve. Here's, here's one thing that I would really recommend. When it comes to success, when it comes to doing anything, it's better to be at a two and go to a three and then be at a three and go to a four versus being at a two and you want to get to a 10, but because you only get to a four, you just stop the whole process altogether because you did not reach the 10 from step two. Now think about that for a minute. It's better to go from two. If you're at a two right now, it's better to go from two to three and three to four, moving one step at a time versus trying to go from a two all the way to a 10. And here's the one thing that we need to remember. There's not really any unrealistic goals. It's only unrealistic time frames. So when it comes to writing your book, if this is a process that you want to follow, again, starting one word at a time, write chapters by writing articles, by writing words. So start with just a few words, then write an article and then turn several of those articles, maybe three or four articles, into a chapter, which then will become a book if you continue to duplicate that process. But start attacking things from a, a perspective that are in chunks, that you can handle one thing at a time. Maybe in your mind, you can't write a whole book, but you can write an article. And here's something that's interesting. A, a good friend of mine just recently shared a website with me and on this website you can actually type in your Facebook information and it will tell you how many words that you've written in one year and the equivalency it is to writing a book and it's amazing how many books that people have written just by responding and chatting and you know posting something on Facebook now imagine if you took that same process and you geared all of what you might type on Facebook if you have an account towards something specific. How many books, not if one book, but how many books might you have in one year? Think about that. But again, that's just another example just to let you know that it's possible you can do it and most people never write a book because they don't think that somebody like them could ever write a book 